Ladies and gentlemen, I would like to thank the Active Citizenship Network for organizing the Patients' Rights Day every year. I regret I cannot join you in person at this year's edition whose focus on therapeutic adherence is an important one. Adherence is a growing concern with massive implications for individual quality of life and the sustainability of health and care systems. Life expectancy is increasing, but so too is the number of long-term conditions needing ongoing treatment. When you consider the average person already spends 20% of their life unhealthy and that 50% of medication prescribed for long-term conditions is not taken correctly, you have a toxic combination. This toxic combination affects our ability to treat diseases, enabling certain strains to grow resistant, and it has fatal outcomes. Non-adherence is linked to 200,000 deaths in Europe and costs an estimated 80 billion euros every year. Why don't patients stick to treatment plans? The most common reasons are a lack of information, a lack of engagement and a lack of empowerment. To break the cycle, we need to tackle all of these factors together, holistically, involving patients and their families, looking at lifestyle as well as medication. We need to explore the initiatives that are already underway. For example, the European Innovation Partnership on Active and Healthy Aging and Promote Good Practices. We also need to explore new options and new approaches, approaches that are patient-focused, that enable them to fit treatment around life rather than life around treatment. In particular, we need to make full and better use of digital health and care. E-health solutions offer real potential for citizens to take a more active role in their health and for patients to follow treatment plans to manage and control them themselves. Mobile health devices such as portables can actively motivate and support positive lifestyle changes. They can support patients to follow their treatment plans by reminding them to take their medication at the right time and at the right doses. This increases adherence to medication and reduces dangerous overuse. IT tools also support better doctor-patient contacts, improving information and feedback, which in turn boosts patient outcomes. They also allow access to medication everywhere in Europe via tools such as e-prescriptions. The Commission is actively promoting this shift. In April, it adopted a communication on the digital transformation of health and care in the framework of the digital single market to help member states enable patients to securely access and share electronic health data, connect health data to improve research, prevention, and personalized medicine, apply digital tools to foster citizens' empowerment and person-centered care. The communication aims to put citizens at the center of health and care systems, no longer passengers, but a driving force. But there is also a social component to therapeutic adherence, in particular in the area of chronic diseases or palliative care. This requires a shift to more community-based and patient-centered health and care system to ensure the involvement of all relevant actors in the pharmacotherapy. To improve levels of therapeutic adherence, we need to actively engage all actors, also by recognizing the important role of pharmacists and by encouraging a continuous dialogue between doctors, pharmacists, social workers, patients, and their family. The Active Citizenship Network plays an essential role in this by promoting patients' rights and initiating fruitful dialogues between patient groups and policy makers. I count on your continuous support and wish you a successful conference. Thank you.